Hey guys, it's Amanda. So today I'm going to be showing you two makeup looks and two outfits that are red carpet ready because I am going to the VMAs, MTV Video Music Awards, with MTV and CoverGirl, and I'm going to be doing coverage on the carpet. I'm super, super excited, so I'm going to show you all, the, all these looks, and then you're going to help me out pick what I should wear to the VMAs. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm so excited. I'm starting off with a fresh face because we're gonna start bare and jump right into it. I'm using the Outlast All Day Primer and this will keep your makeup on the whole time I'm on the carpet or like, you can use these looks for any special occasion. If it's a special occasion, you don't want your makeup messed up during the night. So I use that first and then I'm taking this True Blend Stick Concealer and I'm putting this all underneath my eyes this will just cover up my dark circles, as you can tell it's covering them up a lot, and brightening, then going on little spots that I need coverage on, like I got a few spots up there, um, so I'm going to cover that up and also just kind of highlight with it, then I'm taking a brush and just blending it out to make it look smooth and blended and natural. I'm also taking the concealer and putting it on my eyelids. This works really well as an eyeshadow base too, and it's super fast and easy. You don't have to get a separate eyeshadow primer. So I'm just doing the same thing, putting it on my eyelids and blending it out. Now for foundation, I'm taking the Clean Makeup Oil Control so you won't get shiny for your vent or for me on the red carpet. So I'm just gonna apply this all over to my face, evening out my skin tone and any redness that I have just to make it all smooth and look Flawless. Now to set everything and keep it in place, I'm taking the clean pressed powder. So I'm going to put this all on a brush and then set it all over, just put it all over my face. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush and focus this on my eyelids because we put concealer there and underneath my eyes. So all those areas are set and ready for the night. <laughs> To add some color back into your face, I'm going to take a Chico's blush and then I'm going to put this all over my cheeks and just add this nice flush that's super natural but just gives you the color that you need and just like blend it down the rest of my face too because it can use some color there too. Now I'm taking the Bombshell Powder Brow and I'm going to just fill in my brows with this. So I'm kind of like lining the outline of my brow and then I'll go back in and fill it in. Then just like blend it out so it looks more natural and then I'm cleaning it up with some concealer too so it's a nice clean looking brow. For this look eyeshadow is optional but I'm just going to take this one lighter grayish brown color just to deepen my crease. I'm just going to put it in there. It gives a little bit more depth to the look. Um, it's not necessary but I decided to do that and then I took this really light color and put it in my inner corner and then underneath my eyebrow. This just highlights and opens up your eyes a lot more. So after this, this is the big part, I am going to take the Perfect Point Plus eyeliner and then I'm going to line on my lower lash line first because this, is, this can be like super smudgy. Now I'm going to bring it to the top and create a straight line first and then I'm going to extend it into a wing. So this is a like smudge kind of pencil so this is just kind of a guideline and I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner and then kind of perfect it with that. I'm just going to make it more intense, follow the line that we made with the Perfect Point Plus and just make a fierce cat eye with this. I'm going to go back in with the first eyeliner and go over the edge of this to keep the smudginess and it just kind of cleans up the whole line. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes, so this is just going to lift my eye eyelashes and prep for mascara. I'm using the Super Sizer Mascara, which is great. It, this really helps lift your eyelashes too. So I'm going to put this on my eyelashes, just go through them making sure to get all my lashes, adding these coats, and also putting it on the bottom too. This will open up my eyes and make it a little bit more dramatic also. Now that I'm done with the cat eye, I'm gonna go onto lips. 
So I'm taking the Outlast Longwear Lipstick in Vixen Violet. It's this super vibrant purple color, which is awesome. And these lipsticks are crazy. They actually last for the longest time. So I'm going to just put this on and it's a good contrast against the, the winged eyeliner. So now onto the second look. I just took off my eyeshadow and kept the same face look going on. And I'm also going to prime my eyelids again to get ready for these eyeshadows. So just doing the same thing, giving it a good base and something to stick to. So I'm going to make sure to cover that with some powder so it doesn't crease at all either. And then we're going to get into the fun part. This is a kind of play on the cat eye that we just did. So I'm taking the perfect point plus in charcoal again and I'm just kind of smudging this it's gonna be super messy at first because we're gonna be doing a lot of blending we're kind of doing the same thing but super messy just making this wing and putting a lot on and dragging it towards the lid and also putting on the lower lash line it's just like we did before but just way more messy and way more product so now we're gonna take the other side of it that is a little smudger and now I'm just gonna smudge it out. I'm gonna pull towards the lid. I think that's what will make it look more natural. So just smudge, smudge, smudge away. Smudge, smudge, smudge. Do the smudging. And then you're gonna go back in and like fix up the lines because you still want to tell that it's a cat eye but you still want that smoky effect. So you're just gonna go back and forth the smudging it and creating the perfect line. Now I'm gonna take these eyeshadows from the palette and I'm taking the gray and the black, mixing them together. And I'm going to press this on the lower lash line and then blend it up towards the lid again. That's how I'm getting this smoky cat eye look. You're going to want to make sure to blend it all out because you want it to not have any harsh lines. And then I'm just going to pack more color towards the lash line because that's where you want it to be the darkest. And you still want to see that there's a wing. So you want to define that and do it on the lower lash line also to make it smoky and awesome. I'm going to take the eyeliner and put it on my waterline too because I just want it to be super sultry and smoky. Then I'm taking the Super Sizer Mascara again and applying this to my eyelashes just like that to complete the look, give you big lashes with a smoky eye and I am obsessed with this one. I really like this. I like both of them but I can't tell. They're both so awesome and different. For lips, I want to do like a little bit of a stain so I'm taking the Atlas Long Wear and into the fuchsia and then I'm going to put this on my lips just dab it on to give it a stain because it will last all night but I didn't want it to be too crazy because the eyes are dramatic just blending it in and then ta-da this is that look boom woo now onto outfits this is a first outfit it's this little romper and it's kind of nude it matches like my hair a lot so it's really fun it's a little bit more casual for the carpet, but I think it's super cute. I'm obsessed with it. What do you guys think? Make sure to let me know down below. And then, where's the shoes? There they are. They're these pointy black heels with a little strap around the ankle, which is amazing. And they're super cute all together. It's just really a really playful look. So that's the first option. And here's the second one. This one's a little bit more dramatic and edgy. I'm wearing this matching top, which has a little bit of pink in it because you guys know that's my favorite color. So I think that's super fun. There's metallics, black and white. It's crazy. I think it's amazing. So for the shoes for this, I'm wearing a similar shoe. It's a black pointy heel, but there's no strap around this one. Anyway, just let me know what looks you like best and what I should wear to the VMAs. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks so much for watching. Bye.